Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and welcome to the Langchain series and the topic we will cover today is uh, Query from PDF Let's see the topic list. We have already covered all of these topics in our previous video. Today we will cover PDF Query or chat with your data and this PDF can be easily replaced with any other data format like uh, CSV any file directories, uh, folders, HTML, JSON, Markdown. That totally depends on your use case from where you are getting the data. Before that, I want you to know if you are working on any custom project, you can let me know on the WhatsApp or maybe mail on this uh, email address to discuss about that. Or you can fill out this form. All the links are in the description. Let's get started with the video. Uh, first of all, let me describe this scenario to you. So I have this book, book.pdf. I have downloaded it from a website on the internet. A Tales of Two Cities. This is by Charles Dickens and it is a book. Uh, this website is used to download this. And it is a fictional book. And I am particularly using this fictional book because I don't want that uh, AI answer my questions according to its existing knowledge. And I'm pretty sure that AI don't know about these, uh, this fiction because it is a random fiction book. So how can I know that? But if I use any uh, simple question, what is LLM, what is uh, this that, what is transformer, uh, then AI might also uh, have some idea about that. So. I will ask that uh, my LLM after creating the workflow that what is name of the chapter one and it should uh, tell me the period is the name of it. and maybe uh, I will ask some question about these paragraphs right so I'll do that in a bit let's get started with the video first of all we have to follow this documentation uh, you can go to the document loaders and then the PDF you have to install some libraries uh, first of all pypdf is one of those then there is uh, some other libraries but you will get uh, the option to install them that uh, in a form of error that no module named and something like that and you can just pip install that library okay uh, now the first step is to load the document I'll copy this format and I will replace uh, so here in my PDF folder I have this book.pdf so I will replace that with PDF slash book.pdf this will be the path of my book okay and if I run that it should load all the content into this variable pages but we will verify that obviously we have 49 pages in total in our book let's see the length of these pages it should give me 49 otherwise this will be wrong but this is correct 49 let's uh, verify some more by examining the text of page 1 so content is a tale of two cities by uh, Charles Dickens and you can verify in the page one is exactly this. Do we have info books? Yes, we have info books. Okay. We have successfully uh, loaded our PDF using this beautiful uh, function of PyPDF loader because I have done this, uh, this manually also and this takes about uh, five seven lines of code but here it is two lines of code and you even get the metadata with that how cool is that source is this page is zero and maybe some other things if we use a better PDF okay now let's uh, see what are the next step next step is to set up the open API key this is simple I will just copy this And all the code will be uh, in the description so you can check that out okay. 
here and first of all I have to import my uh, open AI key so open AI key import I have a variable there which is my open AI key and if I copy this I copy that okay let me export my open AI key into my environment using this line now I am good to go I think I will copy this okay FICE index FICE is the vectorized database which will be storing our text into vectorized form and you can take a look on more of it vectorize oh my god what am i vectorize database yes pine cone is also one of them and you can take a look any of this article basically what it will do in the short and simple layman term it will uh, take all of these pages text and convert it into, into numbers so that it can be very uh, it can be analyzed by your llm because you see you have a limit uh, in uh, llm you can't uh, ex exceed that limit uh, when you give the input as form of prompt so you can't just do that like you copy all of this stuff and maybe you think like you can copy all of this and give it to your prompt and let me show you if I do this chat GPT it will give me a error so control C it is not even loading yeah let me give it yes prompt may violate our content policy acknowledge yeah so it is not uh, processing this uh, prompt because it is really long uh, in form of text we have to convert it into numbers otherwise it will not work okay so file index pages is this pages let me run this Okay, so I have my files index. What it is, it is a vector store uh, from blank chain, right? And the vector store we are particularly using is files. There can be other also which can be used, but for this demo purpose, we are using files. Okay, now what we have to do? We have to use this to query something so we have a vector store ready that means our text is converted into numbers numerical form and now we can query uh, okay case 2 is not recommend uh, required for us what should i query let me see the pdf Okay, 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 okay. I will query. Uh, chapter three. Let me ask the name of chapter three first of all. I will say. What is the name of chapter three? Chapter three. Yeah. So I'm asking my LLM which knows all of this information in the PDF. What is name of chapter, uh, chapter 3? It should give me the night shadows, but let's see the result. How we can see the result now is uh, by using the retrieval QA chain. Uh, okay, I will make sure understand in a bit. Let me get it working. Where it is, toggle 
wrap okay here and I will not follow this syntax I will say chain dot run and input document is this one unique docs not docs only docs because this is we are getting in our case and the question is question what is the question question is yeah i think i have to What is the question here? Oh my god. I think query should be the question. So this will be question. Yes, obvious. Okay. And I will remove all of that. I think it should work now. We have done quite a lot and llm i have to create llm also okay let's copy some previous thing llm and i will create llm so now i, I can uh, yes we can execute that llm is there okay let's see let's see what we are getting Let's wait. Okay, Ch name of chapter three is the night shadows. We are getting successfully the answer from this book. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, let's query something else. Let's query something more unique. Okay, let's read something. A wonderful fact to reflect upon every human creature is a constituted to be that profound secret and mystery to every other. Okay. A solemn consideration when I enter a great city by night that every one of the, those darkly clustered house includes its own secret. Uh, what question can I ask from this paragraph? I can ask what I will create a question uh, uh, variable and I will ask what writer is saying in chapter 3 in chapter 3 what writer is saying about uh, what is saying about the houses when he enter a big city so i am assuming it will say me that uh, something like the houses are dark and secret something like that okay let's see and this question will be replaced by this and also this here let's see okay 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 every house in a big city holds is on yes secrets and mysteries yeah 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 this is what i was expecting and i think it also knows each and every bit of this book now so you can query any of your uh, own data into this llm uh, workflow right so i hope you like this video and if you like you can consider subscribing to the channel or you can uh, discuss about any of your project uh, through this form or directly whatsapp me and i'll meet you in the next video thanks for watching